okay? Now, it's probably best so that we can relate the L to the R. You see the radius of the circle here, and the radius of the circle is related to the length of the semicircle, because L, uh, L is equal to <coughs> pi R, right? So uh, it's a semicircle, so instead of 2 pi r, it's just pi r. So we could put here L is pi r, so I believe then <coughs> that's the final answer, 2k Q1, Q2 over pi r squared, and uh, I think that's it, right? Now we can put in some numbers and see if the answer that we're getting makes sense. Remember last week we saw we did the same rod with a uh, we had the rod flat, and I believe it had a, I said, let's assume it had a charge of one microcoulombs. And what was its length? Um, 12 meters. And then we had another charge here that was one microcoulombs, and uh, its distance was 8 meters. Okay. And uh, when we found the force, what, it, what was its magnitude when we did the numbers? So when we, got, we first got a general answer, then we put in all the numbers. Did we get a certain number? Uh, what was it? 1.47 newtons or millinewtons, okay. <clears throat> okay. Now we could do, imagine taking this rod and uh, bending it so that it's a semicircle. So imagine it's 12 meters long, and then taking that charge and placing it here at the center, right? So what would this distance be then? It would be 12 divided by uh, uh, pi, right? <laughs> 12 divided by pi. So something like about 4 meters or something. Um, So then if we take that and place it in this formula, let's see what kind of number do we get. Uh, so put in, the, put in numbers. So put 2, 9 times 10 to the 9th. This is 1 micro, 1 micro, so that's 10 to the minus 12. Divided by pi times, the radius is uh, 12 divided by pi squared. And now we can get a certain numerical answer and see if our numerical answer makes sense. We're getting here uh, 18, and then the pi, one of the pi's cancels, so it's going to be 18 pi divided by 144 times, and then this one's going to give you millinewtons. <clears throat> Right?
So it's definitely going to be smaller than that because that one is 1.47 uh, millinewtons. So what is that roughly? Point thirty nine million newtons, that one is one point four seven. So now with the numerical numbers, let's see what's going on, what's happening. This one you have the flat rod, you have something eight meters away. Right now we have a bent rod, and that something now actually is we bring it even closer. So this is eight meters, which is uh this one is about what? The radius is about uh about four. So we're actually taking the original charge that was all the way there and we're bringing it closer. Right? So we have the original rod, we have this charge, the force is 1.47 millinewtons. We're bending this, we're taking this, and we're bringing it closer. Even by bringing it closer, the force is going down. You would think by bringing it closer, the force should go up, right? So the force is going down all the way from 1.47 to 0.39. So now the question can come up why. Why, by even bringing the charge closer, the force is going down when we're bending the rod. <clears throat> okay, why is that? Okay, so over here, there were cancellations taking place, right? Remember how we discussed that? And in the middle, there is not as much cancellation happening. But towards the end, there's more cancellation. Here, is there cancellations happening? There's more cancellations happening. This thing is pushing this thing forward. This thing is pushing this thing forward, complete cancellation, right? So you have the bent rod, something in the middle, this thing, this thing, these two uh, apply no force on it. Over here, over here, over here, over here, more or less, most, mostly cancellation. The only ones that don't cancel are the ones down here a little bit. They push like this and like that. So even though the charge is closer to the semicircle, because of the cancellations, the force is quite a lot less. You see? So that's kind of the summary of that. <clears throat> and if I put this to 8 meters, it should be less than uh, even, if I put this to 8 meters, it should be even less than the 0.39. So it's going to be way less than 1.47 then. Okay? But to actually calculate the formula is tough. The, the formula for well, uh, the, with the, the point charges here. So that one is a little bit tougher to do. The only one that's easier is the center. Okay. Now let's give it non-uniform density and then try one of those cases. <coughs> 